Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday today, but it's so strange. It's feeling like such a Monday to me um, because I've just kind of hit the ground running and I've just gotten a lot done already. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Um, but I did nothing yesterday on Monday. The kids and I just had like a really lazy day in pajamas watching films. It was the first day of half term and I just wanted them to like chill out and just have fun. And yeah, I've been so busy over the past few days. I just thought, why not have a pajama day? So today's Tuesday and I got up this morning. I did my run, which was awful. It was, I hadn't, I haven't been on a run in over a week now. Um, because it's been so icy where we are. And then in true crazy British weather, it's just completely shot up to, um, 13 degrees. I think it was 13 or 12 degrees yesterday. So yeah, very bizarre, but everything's melted now, which is great. And I went for a run this morning. Um, yeah, I wasn't really happy with it. I mean, I'm glad that I did it, but I just felt like I didn't really push myself. I kept kind of stopping and walking and, yeah, hopefully um, I'll take a break tomorrow, but then on Thursday, I'll get back to it. And I know Thursday is going to be hard. Thursday is a 25 minute straight run. So <laughs> got to gear myself up for that. And um, it's just myself and Harry today. Jack wanted to go to the farm with his dad um, and just go and see the cows. We've got a cow that's poorly at the moment. So he wanted to go see that cow and spend some time with his granny. Um, so yeah, what am I doing this morning? Um, got dressed, put some makeup on. You can see I've still got all that to deal with. I am really behind on laundry, so I'm going to really focus on that for the next hour. I'm going to put away all my clothes. I'm in the midst of just sorting the kids' clothes out. Um, another growth spurt, so I'm sort of changing some of their stuff, putting some of Harry's stuff into bins and getting stuff out of the bins for Jack's. And I just want to get it, um, all organized um because I don't want to be falling behind on laundry um I've brought my ironing board upstairs to my bedroom because I thought at night time when I watch my show and my tv in my bedroom I'll iron and it's been sat there for a week and it's not no ironing has gotten done but I'm going to uh I'm going to crack on with it today um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with the laundry and then think about some lunch for myself and Harry. And I do want to get out this afternoon on a walk. I'd really like to take him to the woods because we didn't go on a walk yesterday. And man, I feel it if I don't. Right, so laundry's done. Finally got through that. And to be honest, the majority of the laundry was mine. And I'm sorting through all the kids' stuff right now. So it's just kind of in piles. But I feel like I'm getting a grasp and I'm getting back on top of it. Um... And yeah, it was just kind of like, as weird as it sounds, it was a nice way to just like sit down, relax and organize my stuff. Cause I feel like I always kind of put my stuff on the back burner. I'm gonna make some lunch now. I just made Harry um, like a sausage sandwich and I'm gonna have these. I've been absolutely loving these. These ones are the vegetable goises. We've also had, I think we've had the chicken ones, but I prefer the veggie ones if I'm honest. Um, and I just, kind of fry them up in the pan for about three to four minutes and just serve with like a little bit of teriyaki sauce and it's really nice. Um, I think Harry and I are gonna try and head out for a walk after lunch. I just wanna get the kitchen kind of tidied up. Um, my goal for today, like house, like cleaning wise, was definitely to get upstairs and downstairs vacuumed. I really need to, I have been putting it off just because I hate vacuuming. It's like not a job I like at all. I don't think anybody likes it, but I know that I need to get it done and I'll feel so much better going into tomorrow um, if I've got it done. So, but anyway, I'm starving. I'm gonna make some lunch, sit down, just take a little bit of a breather and then get the kitchen ready and we'll head out for some fresh air. Okay. Lunch is done um, and I'm just sat in my kitchen right now. It's really messy, you can see, but I'll get to that later. Um, I've just been watching the news, which wasn't very helpful at all. I just feel a little bit like it's very bizarre to me. So I think um, like the majority of my friends, I'm originally from Toronto and the majority of my friends live outside of Toronto now. All their kids are going back to school now. I don't think inside Toronto, I don't think they're going back, but the outside subdivisions are. So they're going back to school. So there's light at the end of the tunnel for them. Um, and then looking at Australia and New Zealand, apparently there's concerts now, people can go to the cinema, people can eat out all the time. I mean, the beaches are just packed. So there's that. The UK, which is a pretty big country,
country. Um, you know, it's, it's just bizarre to me because there's no timeline. Like we have no information, nothing, whether we're going back or not. Like if the kids are going back to school, when things can open, when shops are going to open. We've been in lockdown now since Christmas. Um, and apparently we're going to have an announcement on the 22nd. I don't know what that's going to say. I'm guessing they're going to have to do like a, a staggered start for going back to school. That's what Scotland seems to be doing. Um, I don't know. I just feel very, very helpless at the moment. Like there's just, just feels like there's nothing to look forward to at all. We can't plan anything. Can't think about anything. I keep thinking to myself, thank God James and I decided not to get married this year and postpone it another year till next year. Oh my God. You know, and even then just thinking getting married next year, we've got everything booked for next year. And to be honest, we only had to bring it forward like from two years, but how many people will we be able to have, you know, will my parents be able to come because they're not traveling if they don't get vaccinated. And that's another thing. The UK is rolling out so many vaccinations but there's no timeline and no plans that are being made. So, rant over. I shouldn't watch the news at lunchtime. I should just wait till a normal person, like a normal person and watch it at six o'clock at night with a glass of wine. That's when I should be watching it. So yeah, there's that. Right, let's go for a walk. I'm gonna get some fresh air, clear my mind a little bit, go with Harry, he always makes me laugh and just get out of this house. Okay, we were just about to set off on our walk and our produce boxes arrived um, from our local green grocers. A funny story, we were actually meant to get an Asda delivery yesterday and they never showed up. Um, kind of a long story, but basically they decided because there wasn't enough vans that came that were going to be coming out that we would have to do a click and collect and we were never told. And I was basically on the phone for like 40 minutes with customer service. But anyway, we lucked out in the end because we shouldn't be buying our fruits and veggies from Asda anyway. Um, we should be supporting local. So look at all this. And this was about 50 pounds and look at everything that I got. So some large portobello mushrooms. And um, what else do we get? Some green conference pears. The kids love these. There's some lemons and apples and there should be two packs of blueberries in here. Grated cheese. I always get this grated cheese. I really like it. Um, bananas, some grapefruits down there. James and I make grapefruit juice on the weekend. Um, and then I got some curly kale, which I thought would be nice with fish one day this week. Um, just loads of veggies, red peppers. Jack loves, hi Harry, Jack loves red peppers, doesn't he? So he'll go through those quickly. Um, some carrots, which I'll cut up for the kids. About three or four cucumbers because trust me, my younger son eats loads of them. Um, for my smoothie, I just picked up some of this almond drink. Some pak choy for stir fries. Oh, and Harry, look, you asked for these, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, you said the little corns. Isn't that what you wanted? No. No? Okay, well, we'll eat them anyway. <laughs> Some tomatoes, um, loads of the sugar snap peas and mosh chews because the kids eat those as snacks. Had to get some eggs because the chickens aren't laying at the moment. Um, and then some mushrooms and some green grapes. Um, I know there's more stuff underneath here at the bottom. Yeah, some odd garlic and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's all locally sourced. And I'm going to get this all put away after our walk. Mm -hmm. 